So if multiple sets are pointless and no more effective than simply doing a single set of weight training exercise to muscle failure, then why do so many people do them? Now, we have to take a look at when resistance training became popular. And this happened probably way back in the 1950s or 60s or so when coaches of various sports began to realize that there is some benefit in resistance training for their athletes in terms of making them perform better along with reducing their chance of injury. When previously coaches believed that weight training would make their athletes muscle bound and slower, less flexible, and less athletic. So when coaches began to realize that there is benefit in strength training for their athletes, who did they turn to? Well, the only people strength training in the late 50s or early 60s were the power lifters and uh, the strongmen and the Olympic lifters. So the coaches didn't go to the kinesiologists or the exercise scientists. They went to the athletes such as the strongmen, power lifters, and Olympic lifters for their training advice because those appeared to be the experts at the time and the people who were performing resistance training at the time. So they went to these people for advice and started obviously doing what they did. Now the reason power lifters and Olympic lifters were training with multiple sets is because in competition what they did was a highly technical skill which would benefit from repetition or practice. When it comes to a skill, repetition is the mother of skill. So more practice for the power lifters and Olympic lifters was necessary for them to develop skill in such a high skill based movement. They weren't doing multiple sets of these lifts for the strength benefit. They were doing it for the motor learning benefit or the improvement in skill. Obviously, athletes didn't need to do this. The athletes didn't need to get the skill benefit associated with the complicated or highly skilled lift. They just needed the strength benefit. So this is where people kind of fell off track. Since the power lifters and the Olympic lifters were doing multiple sets for a completely different reason other than for optimal strength improvement, the coaches started instructing their athletes the same way. And then it was kind of a slippery slope to where everybody started doing multiple sets because now the athletes were doing multiple sets because of who they learned from. And now you've got high school athletes and grades or middle school athletes emulating the professional athletes who were emulating the Olympic lifters. So that is why people are do multiple sets. It isn't because it provides the optimal strength benefit. The only reason anyone would ever do multiple sets was for the repetition and the development of skill when it comes to performing the particular exercise as efficiently as possible. Because when it comes to a complicated skill-based lift like say a pain clean or a bench press or a squat, part of it I mean, the, the purpose, especially in competition, is to be able to move the most weight with the least amount of energy. So the more practice you get, and the more skilled you become at that lift, the more efficient you're able to use your muscles in the muscle recruitment pattern in that lift, the more weight you're able to move with less muscular energy. So again, people weren't doing multiple sets for the strength benefit, they were doing it for the skill benefit or the motor learning benefit. Meanwhile, the vast majority of exercise science literature suggests there is no additional benefit to doing more than one set for the sake of stimulating 
improvement in muscular strength and size only for the sake of becoming better at or more skilled with complex Olympic style or powerlifting style movements. And that's the story behind why the hell people do multiple sets.